You know the drill. Get yourself something to drink. Join me on this next video. Welcome back to the shop. Let's bring you down here on the bench and take a look at the next project. Here's what we're looking at trying to fix up here. I have had several people give me some advice on this and some people say it's a railroad tool, which makes sense to me. I would probably use it in some way with the the um, blacksmithing, if I ever am able to get into that, this here would be a good tool to punch a hole. But I think it's something that I'd like to restore. It has a very good handle, and I'm so glad that it has been hung so high right here because it has been hung very poorly. But we should be able to pull that off, scrape all this clean, drop this down here, on the shoulder um, there's a little bit of checking or cracking right there in that handle but i think it should still be redeemable we'll try to get it put back together i'd like to keep that handle because i don't think i'm going to find something in such good shape that's as delicate and contoured as that and yet good and strong so join me on this as we tear this apart, clean it all up, and make this thing like new again. We'll give it new life together. That looks relatively normal. It's kind of interesting though how this is done. It's like there's countersinks on the side here. I'm not sure why, but I still think we can make that handle good and tight in there. Have some clean up here to do, but we will dunk this thing, get all that rust off. We'll be in good shape. So here's our finished project. I kept the original handle. It was important to me to kind of, this to me is not something that I'll probably use. More than likely, it will just be a collectible. And I just liked the look and the feel and the contour of this handle. The other thing is I'd probably have to make a brand new one. Because it is, this is basically a very petite or downsized sledgehammer handle. And there's no way to buy one of these. I cannot tell exactly what that says here. If any of you know what that means or what that says or where it comes from or any history about it, I'd love to hear about it. I am just as much enjoying learning from some of you the viewers as i have been in making the videos you can see here 
remember that the eye was kind of um, recessed a little bit, so it's hard to tell that it's tight, but trust me, that is good and tight. You can see some of the flaws there and the checking there in the, the handle, but again, I didn't want to replace the handle. You can still see how tight that came out down here in the bottom. There are some flaws in the handle. You can see a crack there and the end of the handle is, uh, I think the integrity of the handle is still good, but there is a crack there that ideally would be best not to be there. But um, we took and cleaned this all up. We dunked it in some acid and got all the rust off of it. I then took and blued it, and just this rough part. We shined up the head here just a little bit, and I shined up the spike just to kind of make it look like it has been worn and used. So I do intend to primarily use this as a collectible piece. Uh, it's not something that I will probably use. Uh, with this tool, when I purchased this one, I also got this one right here and um, look forward to fixing it up. And I um, got some information when I first purchased these, and I'll do some more research on this. I couldn't get any more information on this one, but there was a Kurt Davis who suggested that this is a hot cut for, um, for blacksmithing, and it's probably what I would use it for if I ever am able to get into blacksmithing, but there was also a Max Hannum who suggested that these were stone cutting tools, but then there was a Zappa 1 PNT who suggested they're all railroad tools, and I have done some research and found some pictures of railroad tools. I have found one of these. They're not very many. Uh, anytime you put in a spike hammer, it's usually the hammers that are tapered down, but with a round flat end for driving railroad spikes. But this one here, I have found a couple of pictures for our railroad tools. So anyways, this has been a lot of fun putting together. Thanks so much for joining me on this. We've got a place here on the wall for this. So let's go ahead and put that right there. Hope to see you on the next video. Give us a thumbs up, like, share with a friend subscribe. Hope to see you next time. Have a great day and God bless.